<laughs> oh, come on, Maurizio. I thought you were supposed to be brave and courageous. Hey, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, thanks for stopping. You're welcome. Take a look! It's Mayor Bluff! I made a promise to the people of this city, and I keep my promises! Yeah. But you promised more green space, Mr. Mayor, not a parking lot! Uh, well, the parking lot will be painted green! Plenty of green parking spaces! Even the parking meters will be green! About every tree in the park, including our tire swing tree. Oh, you are truly a wise bird. <laughs> Progress cannot stop for a few little trees. Time for lunch, little plant. <laughs> It's your favorite toxic wastewater with a dash of chlorine. <laughs> I knew you'd like it. <laughs> After my shark fin soup, my carnivorous fiend, I've a mind to turn you into a rooster tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Meathead, kill! <laughs> ah, good day, Bubonic. Where is your pathetic partner in slime? Tyrania, hey, next door, where she belongs. Good. The three of us must have a little chat. No, no, no! I hate her house! It's so, so loud! One million two hundred and five! One million two hundred and six! Oh, maggot! The name is Maledictus T. Maggot. Ooh. And that malevolent music must be minimized. <laughs> Here you! Don't upset him, Tyrania! <laughs> now listen to me, you woebegone wizards. Let me remind you that some 290 years ago, you obtained, and I just wonder how, your state master of supreme wizardness. In return, you were supposed to... To do what? Um, cast spell. <laughs> exactly! Terrible spells in order to spread evil and terror all over the city. Do you remember now? So what are you waiting for? Now go to work and cast spells upon this town if you don't want to spend the rest of your life in this cage. Maggot's here. Maggot? Get on with it! <laughs> <clears throat> It cannot be that devastatingly difficult to design a decent spell to cause delicious diabolical destruction. And if your spell doesn't last the required seven hours to become permanent, I take pity on you both. I hope you're happy now, nephew. Not my fault you're too lazy and over the hill to cast a decent spell, Auntie dear. <laughs> Oh, I'll show you over the hill. Where are you going? Back to my house, where I can think. <laughs> oh no, my little cupcakes. This is not a good time to be in the house. Run outside and play in the park, Jacob. You too, kittykins. <laughs> it doesn't seem like there's much park left. Ah, it's giving me a thought, Auntie. Oh, boy. Don't tell me you actually have an idea for a worse curse scenario. As a matter of fact, I do. Come, we must prepare the potion. Looks like we've work to do, my friend. 
I wish we could stop those two before they cast a spell. Sure we can. I have a plan. This idea of yours better work, you old goat. Your last stroke of brilliance drove Maggot crazy. At least I have a brain that has ideas, you hammerhead. Besides, my last idea was brilliant. Someone else spoiled it. Get ready, Mo. Huh? As soon as I step on these, they'll slip and skid right into the cauldron. End of spell. Huh? That's your plan? Yeah. Banana peels always work in cartoons. Trust me. What do you mean someone else spoiled it? Are you blaming me? If the shoe fits. I don't get it. They always work in cartoons. Lousy quality is what it is. Lousy plan is what it is. Stupid bananas! <laughs> Time for a little mega magic! By the power hale and hearty of an earthquake on a roll! Through these parts be part and party about one and only scroll! Formula of deepest night! If it's you, then show your might! Join what once was went asunder! To the sound of flames and thunder! after Mr. Cozy mows it. <gasps> this looks bad, my friend. What's so bad about a little tall grass? That was my favorite trash can! I cannot accept this! Counterattacks are necessary! <laughs> We better go see Auntie Noah. <laughs> Honorable members of the Animal High Council, flowers, grass, bushes, trees, and plants are going nuts. Even my favorite trash can is entirely destroyed. No way! This is sorcery at work, and we only have seven... Let's make that five hours to stop the spell. What do you think, Auntie Noah? Auntie Noah! You can't sleep during an emergency meeting! <sighs> what? How? Who sleeps? I was just thinking that it sounds like sorcery. You said it, Auntie Noah. I remember an old silly riddle that I learned in biology at my little school down in the swamps of... Uh, uh, whatever. And my teacher had a funny hiccup and he used to say... Auntie Noah! Oh yes, the riddle. <clears throat> the life of a plant is a simple story. They sprout and relish their moment of glory. They bud and they bloom and grow very tall, but always dry up and croak in the fall. 
Well, she's right about one thing. It's a silly riddle. Ah. The situation is clear. Only Maurizio and Jacob can solve the problem in time. You have our help if you need it. Good luck! Ten Hut! I am available to shore up your front lines if you need me, boys. Truth be known, I know what you need to stop this spell. A rocket! A rocket, Colonel Custard? That's what I said, Private. A rocket to change the water crystals in a rain cloud into hailstones. Hailstones? Clean out your ears, son! If it hails, the plants and their blossoms will be destroyed. Like in the fall, and they'll stop growing. Victory is ours! And you know, I said, plants dry up and croak in the fall. It's worth a shot, Colonel Custard, but how do we make the rocket? I just love the smell of evil in the morning. have gone by and our spell makes steady progress. Our spell? Tisk tisk. how you kid yourself. Anyway, our spell still needs one more ingredient. Like what? The Coop de Grassy. Coop de what? Coop de Grassy. It's French for the final touch. You mean Coop de Grace, you nitwit. And how is that skinny little weed gonna help? <laughs> Don't you snap at me, I'll throw you out the window. That's what I'm talking about. Meathead, are you ready? Oh, sweet. Enjoy! I'll miss you. Fly, Jacob? Well, I have my doubts. Oh, now you tell me. Three, two, one, blast off! That's it, little rocket. You can do it. Come on. I order you to do it! Do it, little guy! Activate retro rockets! <laughs> well done, Ben! Well done! Oh, boy. What? What is that thing? Unless I'm crazy, it looks a lot like Bubonic's carnivorous pet plant. The one who's always stealing my kibble. Only it's bigger. A lot bigger. A formidable foe. We must rethink our strategy. How about surrender? Our fear and misery meter says there's lots of fear and misery down there, Auntie. Excellent. This time we'll finally please that picky maledictus maggot. Ow! 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 Oh, this waiting phrase my nerves. Perhaps I'll have a snake venom tea to calm me down. We still have three hours to go. Three hours left and we still don't have an answer. The answer has to be in Auntie Noah's riddle. The library! We can find the answer in a book. Sure, but how do we get there? Check it out. I can fly, Maurizio. Like the rocket? That plant probably loves raven sushi, too. He's right. We must march. March? march. <laughs> a left, right, left, right, a left, right, left, right. I'd like to give him a left hook. <laughs> this calls for a bold military tactic. While Private Jacob enters the library, 
Dreaded Maurizio will create a diversion. You mean, while the meat eaters have me for lunch, Jacob sneaks into the library? Precisely. It is the stuff of heroes. Good idea, Kennel. Easy for you to say, but I have another plan. Uh oh It never fails in cartoons. I know you don't believe it, but I've learned my lesson. Go on, Jacob, get going. You fertilizer heads want some food? Here it comes! <laughs> yes! One fertilizer head down, five to go. Shooting private couldn't have done better myself. Garden flowers, no. Fruit trees, no. House plants, no. <sighs> this is the scene as we come to you live, high above Megalopolis. Nothing, it seems, can stop these plants from taking over the city. Many plants only live for one season. Bingo! You couldn't find a better hiding place? The enemy had greater strength and we had to withdraw! This is a disaster, Jacob! In two hours, Megalopolis is gonna be history! Maybe not, Maurizio. Listen to this! Many plants only live for one season. They grow, blossom, bear fruit, and die. And? The answer is in Auntie Noah's riddle. They sprout and enjoy a moment of spring glory, but dry up and croak in the fall. We just have to make them grow and croak faster. By watering and feeding them. Bingo! Uh, but why do we feed them? I'm way too chunky and full of fur, and I ran out of bananas. Not you, Mo. Super plant food. Super plant food. <laughs> I knew that. But I see two little problems. Where do we get the water, and how do we spread the super plant food? We kill two stones with one bird. I can't believe you talked me into this. No choice, my friend. There's only 10 minutes left to stop the spell, and we've a big load to deliver. Uh oh, bandit at one o'clock. When he opens his mouth, drop the bomb. Right out, Captain. No! No, it can't be! The 
spell was perfect. Well, something went wrong. Ah! I'm not surprised you magical misfits messed up again. Allow me to show you sorcerous simpletons how to cast a plant spell. Have a pleasant day. Losers! <laughs> oh. In light of new public opinion, I've decided against destroying any more old trees along with the park, and we'll build my green space parking lot elsewhere. And where is that, Mr. Mayor? Well, I'm not sure yet. Draining and paving over Crystal Lake is one possibility. <laughs>